Hi, I'm Emma Lou, the creative director with Heartfelt Creations. And I don't know about you, but I love using background stamps. There's so much versatility with them. So I'm gonna show you a way to use two colors of ink, some mixed media products to create an amazing background that you're gonna love. To create this background, I used a two-step stamping process and I used the Birds and Bloom collage to stamp it. So we're going to use the Rose Coral Chalk Ink and I'll ink the entire background first with the Rose Coral Chalk Ink just to make sure that everything is covered with ink. Um, once I'm finished with that, I'm using the green, it's a guacamole chalk ink. Sounds good enough to eat. And I'll just kind of hit the areas where I want to add a little bit of um, the green to the leaves. And I'm kind of covering the bird with the green too. That's okay because we will 3D another bird on top. Um, so just kind of hit the areas where you'd like to have additional color to it. And then we'll just flip this around and stamp this to our cardstock. And when you're stamping a big background stamp like this, just make sure that you give it firm, even pressure. And I like to also have a red stamp mat in between me and my table surface, which really helps. Okay, so we'll lift this up. And once you've stamped that, um, we're ready to add the mixed media technique. The first thing that I'm going to apply is some crackle paint with my paintbrush, just use an old ugly paintbrush that you have, um, so it's okay if it gets gunked up, and just add a thin layer of crackle paint to the areas that you want to add, just a little bit of a mixed media effect. Now with this, um, I did notice that it really kind of makes the ink bleed a little bit too, which is really pretty once it's dry, and since you're using the crackle paint, that also makes that the, um, it it's kind of dries crackly. Um, so it gives it like a broken glass look. Um, I'm just going to cover the words beautiful. Um, so since the ink kind of um, bleeds a little bit, you won't be able to word, read the words as well. But that is okay because you're kind of just doing a mixed collage background. Now since this is still wet, um, you can add some prills or glitter, whatever you like. Um, it's your choice. Um, so we'll go back and I chose um, a couple different colors, kind of a light green, and I'm just sprinkling a couple little um, dots of these pearls right over the top. And since this is wet, they will just automatically stick to wherever you added the crackle paint. I'm going to switch and add just a little bit of those white ones. If you get too many on, since it doesn't dry instantly, you can go back and just kind of brush that off if you like. Um, so we'll just kind of bring those off. And then I have just a little bit of a crystal glitter. When I'm doing this technique, I like to pick it up with my fingers so that I have more control over how much I'm sprinkling on. Um, or if you have like a glitter um, sifter thing, that would maybe work a little bit better too. But I'm just going to dump a little bit more on my fingers just so that I have control over how much it goes. Because if it gets too much, you can kind of glob it a little bit. Um, so you can add as much or as little as you like, so you can kind of experiment with that. So now I would lay this aside to dry. I stamped the butterfly, the bird, and the flowers with a rose coral ink, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of color using the rose coral to create a, a pink little birdie. Um, so I'll just kind of go in a circular motion to make it very soft. Um, that's using the rose coral ink, and then we'll add just a little bit of the harvest to just once again just add a little bit of soft color around the belly of the bird. And then for the butterfly, I just added a touch of the guacamole color just in the center to add a little bit of a green um, color effect. So if you don't like to color or are in a hurry, this is a, a quick technique for you. And then for shaping these, um, I don't spend too much time, just flip that bird um, upside down and just kind of go back and forth in a circular motion to curve it. And then the butterfly wings, I'll do the same thing. I am using my largest stylus tip for this. Um, once you're finished, just flip it right side up, just press down in the center. And then for the flower, I will flip it around and I'll use the three millimeter. Um, just press down on those petal tips and flip it right side up and just press down in the middle. The leaves and the flower, I stamped in the pink and the green and I'm not doing any co additional coloring to those. Um, you could do that if you wished. Just add some texture to the leaf and these are ready to add to the background collage. 
To finish this card off, I just added a couple different elements from the Birds in Bloom and the Butterfly Medley collection. Um, it's, it's just great to add um, some different techniques and different elements. So you have the butterfly first. We'll go ahead and just glue the little bird up here um, to the background bird. Um, so you kind of see some pl general placement of where to add your uh, three-dimensional leaves and flowers. Um, I'm going to go back and just tuck this leaf right underneath here. Um, and then we have a couple flowers. Let's see, we'll put two kind of in here. So you can see how easy it really is to just create a quick card for a friend just by utilizing a, a main background image. Whoops, that one's kind of bouncing around a little bit. And we'll tuck another little flower up on this side. So just kind of tuck it in with the little bird. With some of these little um, birds and flowers makes me think that you could hear them chirp right off the card. Um, but then I like to go back and just tuck in some additional leaves in spots that you think might look a little bit empty. Um, each card usually uh, turns a little out a little bit differently depending on how I add the leaves. Um, this one I'm going to add this leaf on this side instead of the bottom like I did in the others other one. And then to finish this card off, I like to tuck in um, the die from this set. This is from the Cut Mat Create 2A die and you can literally just glue that, attach that to the top and the bottom and you will have you can do it two different ways. You can also attach it like this and then you can go back and add prills and glitter, some more glitter to add the finishing touches to this card. You'll love using these techniques for your background stamps. You can see more ideas of this background stamp and more Birds in Bloom products on our website in the gallery. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.